Welcome back guys, Johnny here for another exciting video. Today is video 3 in my 30 videos in 30 days challenge for uh, this month of 2021. So uh, in today's video I'm going to go over my 150 uploads uh, video and recap. I'm just going to show you like my oldest video and uh, talk about a few things. A short video, I'm not going to go over all 150 but um, definitely it's been a journey the last couple of years making videos, getting different setups, trying different equipment, trying different um, areas around the house to record at, um, definitely finding time to record uh, moments when it's quieter in the house because, uh, of course, I'm married with um, – you know, a family of two. We have two girls. Um, so, I mean, shoot, they run around and play and, and you know, sing and do all that fun stuff too. So um, it's hard to kind of work around that, but that's exciting. And um, right now we're at 1.06K subscribers, so a little over 1,000 subscribers. Total lifetime views is around 68,000 and around 152 videos um, only because I've uploaded a couple for this 30-day challenge. Um, so I'm already ahead of schedule. And uh, last 30 days, I only have six video uploads. So I'm hoping by when it says last 30 days on January 31st or 30th, or February 1st that it says video uploads are going to be 30. Very cool. But I have noticed a huge uh, number of views coming in from um, just previously um, <clears throat> doing videos and like say I was only getting like 20 or 30 views. And if we go back on the charts, I could show you where I was getting, you know, six, 700 views a day. And then I just kind of stopped doing videos and it just kind of, you know, went away and it came down to this point. Now that I've been doing videos, you can see it's gone up tremendously. Um, December 31st wasn't even the first day of the challenge, uh, but I did upload a video, 120 of views gained. January 1st, 88. January 2nd, 135. And January 3rd, 147 views gained. So the view count is definitely increasing as long along with the uh, uh, the watch time minutes, stuff like that. Um, if you're new to this channel, though, we talk about stocks, credit, finance, and real estate. Um, I mostly talk a lot about strong buys. Um, as you can see, recent uploads are a lot of strong buy videos, uh, updates, and different videos. My portfolio for Robinhood. Um, and now I'll be talking about Weeble pretty soon. Um, I do have a video out on Weeble right now. And uh, that was, I believe, yesterday's video. Uh, so it's pretty interesting seeing all my popular uploads here, uh, 11,000 views in two years. Uh, so it's not the best, but I mean, there's a little bit of, of views there. Um, that's my top video right now, four reads with a hundred percent buy rating and a 10% dividend yield. Um, some pretty awesome stocks in here. I think you should check out. And then 6,000 views for this six monthly paying stocks that are REITs in 2019. And pretty typical with these REITs, um, you know, the a lot of times uh, are like this is an older video, but it still is relevant today. So maybe I'll do an update on those companies. And then, of course, IVR blew up in the last six months. You know, I wouldn't say blew up, but almost 2,000 views in uh, for the, some reason for this company, um, 1.6K views for CPRX, and uh, it's funny for this Carnival uh, CCL, I did it literally like two days before uh, their entire company like dipped and the whole, you know, pandemic thing kind of messed everything up. And then Strong Buy Playlist, uh, Real Estate Investing Trusts Playlist. Um, in what's inside my Robinhood app portfolio. So I go over um, each time, you know, I want to say like once a month, I will do an update on my portfolio. Um, you guys can watch it grow with me, see what I bought, see what I sold, see what dividends came in. 
and also see uh, any rewards that might have come in from you guys signing up. Um, and then I talk about penny stocks, um, investing for beginners, like most popular, and you know five stocks that are recession proof. This didn't get a whole lot of traction either, but um, it definitely was a good video. You guys should check it out. And then I also have my own personal gaming channel, free play strategies and more, all based off of StarCraft 2, if you guys have ever heard of it. 14 subscribers, 43 videos, so not too bad. Um, but as for the 150 upload videos, let me go over some right here. And we'll start from the oldest date and work our way down. So check this out. Some of my oldest videos were three years ago. Um, I can actually tell you the date because it was like August, um, I believe August 11th, 2017. I believe that's what it was. And literally, it's just a video with a big white paper. And I drew on it and did a video on my phone. Like, it wasn't even that great of a video. And I did it for quite some time. This is my Robin Hood 0 to 100,000 challenge. And I got up to a thousand dollars, and I'm still working on getting it going. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, um, got to do an update on my Robinhood video, uh, what's in my portfolio, but you know, it's only a few thousand dollars, and, uh, you know, so I'm still working to that hundred thousand dollar goal. But I found out real quick that, um, you know, I wasn't getting a lot of views on this because everyone's like, you know, well, who is this guy doing this hundred thousand dollar K challenge? But I went from zero dollars and I signed up with a link from somebody on Facebook, you know, that many years ago, and got a free share. And within uh, a week or two, I got a couple more shares, and then I signed up a few more people. And by like week, I think ten, I ended up getting close to. Um, 15 shares. I made a hundred dollars off of just referring people to Robin Hood and I thought it was the coolest thing And then I was also learning at the same time how to invest in monthly paying dividend stocks So that way I got more money each month to buy more stocks when referrals weren't coming in So at the start man, I you know, I went from a three dollar stock to a hundred dollars in stocks And then later on I wish I knew exactly which video it was but uh, I got Facebook stock, $179 at the time, and I got it uh, free because I literally just had someone sign up. Like, I was so passionate about using Robinhood and investing and letting people know, like, hey, this is awesome. And then uh, I did Stock Market Basics series, which, I, you know, I still dabble in a little bit. Um, how to buy and sell stocks, what is a dividend, you know, fundamental analysis, um, you know, making money on Robin Hood, eight stock, eight facts about the stock market. And then that's when I started doing strong buys. And I was like, well, people want to hear what I have to say. And so I did this video here. Um, actually, the one that got a lot of traction first was the monthly paying stocks. Got 1.3 thousand views. And I thought that was pretty cool. And then this one has almost a thousand. And we're talking still three years. So, I mean, this got like a thousand views, like the first like couple of days and then just died. And then just, I don't even think I get views on this specifically anymore, probably because it's from 2019. But um, yeah, just did more videos, more challenges. I got to week 32. And as you can see here, Robinhood app, $1,000, week 32. So I took uh, just a goal and I took, you know, something I had no idea about. And I went from zero dollars to three dollars to ten dollars to a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars in thirty two weeks, and I never you know and i I never invested any of my own money until like the very end of the challenge, and I was doing like maybe a hundred bucks you know it not even I think I was doing like twenty bucks like twenty bucks on a check you know every two weeks I put like ten or twenty bucks in there and finally built it up and got to that goal um <clears throat> I moved on a little bit from that, um, started doing some other videos, started looking into real estate, and actually took my money out of Robinhood. Um, I took almost like, I don't know, 900 and something dollars out to get into some of this uh, real estate fundraise. 
and uh, then I started a new challenge, um, 500 to 1,000 Robinhood portfolio update um, challenge week one. So I was just going to grow it all over again, grow it from, you know, you know, pretty much zero dollars again, like thirty or forty bucks. Build it up all the way up to a thousand again, which I also did. And then I did this uh, one thousand to one hundred and twenty-five thousand in three years, using one easy strategy. I thought that was pretty interesting. And then the six monthly paying stocks came out and got six thousand views. Um, tried to do a funny Robinhood app advertisement and uh, did three casino stocks and as you can see guys a lot of these didn't get a lot of traction like Alibaba did a little bit on this strong buy and you know some of them never even broke a hundred views some of them never even broke a couple hundred views but I was still doing videos pretty much trying to be consistent but again guys it was like you know if I was lucky a video a week sometimes one video a month and I just kept putting them out there, even though I'd only get, you know, 88 views or 90 views, you know, I'd still just put some out there and put them out there and keep trying different things. And then boom, this one really hit hard. 11,000 views compared to, of course, you know, a couple hundred. So it didn't go crazy blown up big, but it was big for my little channel. And uh, that definitely helped get me a lot of subscribers right there. And then just kept making videos, guys. Did some on credit cards. Dividend Capturing Explained. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, that's a pretty good video to check out. A um, lot of uh, what's in my Robinhood portfolio, you know, going from 500 to 600 all the way up to 1100. Uh, first channel trailer, you know, more strong buys. Robinhood up to 1200 now. So I grew my account a second time from zero to a thousand. And, uh, did more videos on REITs. I thought this one was going to do very well also, and it didn't really. Um, how to gain 100 subscribers. I felt like I was able to talk about it at least because um, I was I was just, I believe I almost hit 1,000 or I was like at a couple, you know, five or 600 subscribers. And I was like, all right, well, at least I know how to get my first 100. Let me show you guys a little bit more on what I think about it. Then I did a couple book reviews, and um, that's when this CPRX really hit up and started messing with my thumbnails more. So now you can see I went from a couple of hundred views, now I'm getting 1.6 thousand, 1.2 thousand, 1.5 thousand, 1.5. So I'm starting to catch on, getting a little bit of traffic um, onto, the, onto this, you know, YouTube basically. And I'm not sure if it shows, I thought I had a thousand subscriber special. I probably do. It's probably down here somewhere. Uh, no, I don't see it. And then we just got some recent videos. One day ago, two days ago, one day ago, four days ago, four days ago. I don't know why it does that sometimes. We don't do it within, like, after 24 hours. It puts it at the next day. It's kind of weird. Or if you upload them on the exact same day, but then don't post on the next day. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, right here. So six months ago only from... January, so like in June or July, um, I hit a thousand subscribers. So we're talking like two and a half years for me to hit a thousand subscribers, but not doing it consistent and only uploading whenever I wanted. And then, um, so that was pretty cool. But not only that, did you notice like right here, I went from twelve hundred dollars. Well, what happened? I took my money out again. I think this was right around the time that the whole uh, kind of scare happened in the pandemic and everything in the world. And so I took my money out because I was worried uh, I was going to lose it all, one. And two, um, I wanted to have a little bit of cash in my pocket to pay bills or stuff like that if I did lose my job. And, you know, sure enough, like March came around and I lost my job. I got unemployed due to, um, you know, the virus. And that was it. So... Uh, how to use that money, and then started a, all over again. Um, I got up to 900, but again, I could probably only had maybe 100, 200 bucks, and then started going again, got up to 2100, and um, from there, I just kind of lost traction. As you could see, I did another stock dividend payout. I did an Ares, uh, AutoZone strong buy, and then that was five months ago. I literally did nothing like the entire time of the pandemic. Like we stayed inside, we didn't really do much. You know, we just 
pretty much just were here. So um, you think I would have had more time to do more videos and to spend more time on it, but I just really felt like I didn't want to and just discouraged and upset with everything in the world that was going on. And I was just like, you know, forget it. And then a week ago, I just kind of was like, you know what, it's it's time to just kind of move on and, and do something else and just get it started. And so that was good. But the entire time of the pandemic, though, like people like, oh, well, you know, you're unemployed, this and that. It's like, well, no, I wasn't. I was unemployed for like maybe two months and I fucking hated it. Oops, I just cussed. I hated it. So I uh, I went and got a job and just did it and, you know, been happier ever since. But I just couldn't sit around and wait um, for, for the government to just give me money. So I went out and I got me a job and, and that was it. So, um, those two months was freaking crazy. Like it was a lot like doing nothing and being inside and not being able to go anywhere or do anything during the summer, like was a drag. And I'm sure everyone feels the same way, especially people like losing their jobs and everything like that. Cause I feel that same pain. I was right there with you guys, but you know, enough about all that. Um, wanted to do this video, get it out there, told you guys I'd be uploading, you know what I mean, every single day, and so here's another video, hope you enjoyed, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't.